a diverse education should be available to everyone. And that's something the LaPorte County Public Library believes in. So they want to bring it to you with their mobile classroom. Well, the mobile classroom is a really exciting um, project that we've been working on for several years. We uh, did a lot of work to communicate with um, industry in our community and our school partners um, and other key people in our community to find out what kinds of things we could do to support the path to careers and um, skills for jobs that we have available in our community. And one of the ways to do that is to make experiences with STEAM equipment, so STE AM, um, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math, um, available on our mobile classroom so that we can go to locations and offer experiences on that, those pieces of equipment. They thrive off of community partnership, and this time they've partnered with Howmet Aerospace in the Laporte Municipal Airport to teach students the basics of flying. I think in order for students to really be excited about STEM, one of the unique aspects about science, technology, engineering, and mathematics is really being able to see it, feel it, touch it, and also how does it apply? What are the real life applications of this? And they get to really see oh, um, a, a electronic microscope and they can see what that does and, and, and how it can apply in their own life. They can talk about drones and, and what that means for um, agriculture, for example. And they can really put science and their real life together in a more meaningful way. Yeah, I've always wanted to um, get my pilot's license and learn to fly planes and just kind of travel around. I learned that there's a lot more instruments in airplanes than you would really think. There's flaps, there's, um, you can change the strobes, you can change a lot of different stuff. And it's actually pretty hard to land a plane. I always think it's good to expose kids to things that they might not be typically exposed to on a day-to-day -day basis or in the classroom. And a lot of kids own a drone, they might have got one for Christmas, but this is a little bit um, a step up how to program it. And, and so I think it's good anytime to expose kids to something new. It's not just aerospace that they're teaching. They want to provide a broad array of learning materials to schools and the community unlike any other. We need to educate people about the use of drones. We've had a few reports where a pilot will be at 3,000 feet and a drone whizzes by that scares the bejeebers out of me, quite frankly. And so I think it's important to educate um, students and everyone what the rules are and what they can and can't do. And so it's not just take it out of a box, throw away the instructions and have some fun with it. It's, it's uh, there is a real safety issue that has to be addressed. So we're all about education. Uh, we already have partnerships with many of the schools in LaPorte County. Uh, we provide uh, lessons at schools. We provide uh, STEAM kit equipment out at the different schools. Um, we work on curriculum. And so having the mobile classroom is just another part of offering educational opportunities in the community. So we can go on location to a place like the airport and offer kids an experience to learn about drones and what different careers use drones. Um, but the same would be true with other equipment. So when we go out to a school, we'll do a lesson maybe on um, with the digital microscopes where they're doing inspections, which would be relevant in manufacturing or in a factory workplace or, or even in the medical field where you're gonna do inspections or you're using a microscope for your specimens um, for observation and, and really tie that into careers. Careers in STEM bring um, talent and bring economic growth to an area because if you have jobs in STEM, they traditionally pay a little bit better than um, you know, other industries. Manufacturing also, uh, careers in manufacturing, which is Hama Aerospace, um, brings uh, jobs, brings people, brings income, brings taxes um, and economic growth to the community. And so the more we can encourage students to explore careers in STEM, um, we feel it improves the economic uh, vitality of the, the community.